Hi everyone and all you M maniacs out there, welcome back to another episode of ML Plays FIFA 15. Today it's Hartlepool versus Arsenal and we are a quarter of the way through the season. This is match 15 of the season. We are at home against Arsenal. If you watched the last game against Everton, you'd have seen that we had a draw and it finished 1-1. Bit of cheating at the end where we could have got the win. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to do so and it finished, as I say, 1-1. We have gained seven points in our last three games, which isn't too bad. Anyway, today, Hartlepool play in the blue and white Arsenal well, playing in the red we're League going to be going for four Martin minutes Tyler half on professional difficulty uh, off we go to, to the town here. park the match for you Hartlepool United against Arsenal Hartlepool United last time out they were away from home they drew against Everton yeah, and a bit fortunate to, to draw the match no it wasn't fortunate to draw the uh, match unfortunately we we, we should have won the game lose. to be honest with you it was the cheating right at the end by McCarthy where he brought down Alessandra when he was this through on goal he got like a red card for it but it was unfortunate that we didn't get the win anyway today Hartley Paul have got Barber in goal with Duckworth, Nerny, Bates and Flores in defence Emma Walker, Woods and Compton in the middle and Lee and Alessandra up front Flores making way for uh, Kim Chi Wu today to play and get a bit of a, uh, a game here against Arsenal. I'm not too certain on who all of the Arsenal players are. I know a couple of them, but I'm not good enough to uh, commentate on them like that. So I'll refer to them as Arsenal striker, Arsenal midfielder, Arsenal player. You know how it is. If you've seen my videos before, you'll know exactly what's going to happen. Anyway, Hartley Paul have won the toss. We're going from left to right. Away we go. No messing around here today. Hartlepool playing it all the way back to the edge of their penalty area and Duckworth knocks it forwards Here's towards Walker. Walker. Walker takes it around his midfielder. No problems at all there. And skins a second midfielder. Referee blows up though for Hartlepool being offside. Who'd have thought that? That they would be in a position to be offside. Arsenal in the top four at the moment in this Premier League. We are down into 10th place at the moment after that draw last time. And unfortunately, well, if we could get the win here today, not unfortunately, sorry, if we could get the win here today, we could go up several spaces up into 5th place. We could jump up 5 places just by beating Arsenal as long as the teams above us also lose. But we'll see how that goes towards the end of the game. Anyway, Arsenal with the ball just holding on to it on the edge of the penalty area and just making Hartlepool look a little bit silly, to be honest with you. Will they be able to do anything with this ball? Two of them try to go past Hartlepool and they get clattered by Mal and Duckworth. And now the ball goes played out wide towards the other side of the field. Lovely cross there by the Arsenal uh, winger. Doesn't manage to get it onto the head of anybody. And now they're trying to cut in through the uh, through the players. That's a lovely bit of play, but it's gone out for a corner, I think. As you can see, our next game's at the Hawthorns against West Bromwich Albion. I hope that you'll join us for that game away at West Brom. Anyway, they didn't give a corner. They give a goal kick, and it's Barber who kicks a ball long up the field. Nodded on towards Alessandra by Walker. Now Alessandra cuts inside, he's gone past two Arsenal defenders. Beautiful strike there from distance where the ball come back to Walker. Unfortunately, it was just off target. It looks like it took a deflection of a handball from the Arsenal defender. The referee didn't give it as that though. He said that it didn't touch the defender and he's given a goal kick instead. Very dodgy referee in there, in my opinion, because we could quite clearly say that, see that it took a deflection off the defender. Anyway, the ball goes played forward towards the rest of the Arsenal players. Mal gets stuck in and takes a ball off him. He's running it up the field. Doesn't manage to do anything. Doesn't manage to score with it, though. And an Arsenal player is on the floor, injured from that tackle by Mal. Mal took the ball, though, unfortunately... For, uh, for him, he's, um, he's got an injury he's, and he's probably going to have to go off for that. So Aaron Ramsey comes on and takes over from Zalem. 
Zalalim, is that how you say it? I don't know. If I've said it wrong, I apologise. But uh, anyway, let's see what Arsenal could do now. They've been forced into making a substitution that they more than likely didn't want to do, especially He's after 25 minutes. Some Sometimes that happens in football, though, and you have Ramsey. to bring on a player because the other one can't carry on. Anyway, Arsenal still going on the attack. They're making Hartley Paul look a little bit silly with the skills that they've, they're actually possessing today. And they've gone down into that far corner again. Will they be able to get the crossover? Doesn't manage to do so. Just knocks it out wide to the other midfielder. Now they're doing a little bit of attacking. Absolute brilliant build-up. But a lovely tackle there by Walker. Knocks her ball forward towards Lee. Lee plays it on to Alessandra. Alessandra trying to go round the defenders doesn't manage to do so gets tackled and now it's here with them the Arsenal players once more Arsenal knocking it forward trying to get past the midfielders again they're going to do it as well by the looks of it looks like they left the ball behind there tackled there by Woods gets the ball forward to Alessandra who's onside he's gone through past two defenders he just needed to hold on to the ball for that last couple of seconds lovely tackle though by the Arsenal defence stopping any attack that Hartley Paul were bringing towards them and now they're going on the counter attack the Arsenal players are playing so well really playing Hartley Paul out of position and making them work for the money today they're really struggling to be able to keep hold of the ball once they get the ball though they are able to do stuff with it as you can see Norwich versus Southampton is currently 1-1 that is a very important score for both of them teams both of them in the bottom three of this league Norwich at the bottom that could be the first set of points that Norwich pick up this season as I said earlier we are a quarter of the way into the season and Norwich have still not got any points as of yet long range shot there was dipping went out though for a goal kick unfortunate for Hartlepool there we go the next game for Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium is against West Ham United so there's another London derby for people to watch goal kick by the Arsenal plays it just forwards and out wide to the centre back knocks it forward Referee blows though for the end of this first half. And what a first half it's been. Arsenal absolutely dominating Hartley Paul all over them. Every time they've got the ball, they've just been making Hartley Paul look silly. But then again, when Hartley Paul have managed to get the ball, they've played it forward. They just haven't been able to break down the Arsenal defence as of yet. I think the manager will have to sort a few things to say at half time and see if they can come out and make a change in this second half to the way that they play because they do definitely need to pick up a few points from this game Arsenal way. kick off though this second half already and away we go Arsenal just knocking it around between themselves Hartley Paul playing from right to left this half and Arsenal going the opposite way lovely ball through there to the striker will he be able to get the crossover knocks it out and there's a great header towards goal Barber doesn't move and it just goes wide luckily for him Giroud with a free header at goal and we know what happens normally when Giroud sticks his head on things like that they normally go in that onion bag. Luckily enough today, he's missed. Anyway, the ball played long up the field by Barber. Knocked forward by Walker, trying to get it back. Played out wide to the Arsenal player. Compton comes in, gets the ball, knocks it to Alessandra. Alessandra plays it forwards to Lee. Lee with a great long range shot, perfectly on target. Great save by the Arsenal keeper. Keeps him into the game, still nil-nil here. Arsenal nil, Hartley Paul nil, Arsenal on Fighting the attack once more. I have to apologise for my voice, I'm currently getting over the flu at the moment. So my voice is a little bit croaky. Hopefully you'll, uh, you'll be alright with that, it's so that I can continue to bring you the daily FIFA games that I play every day. Anyway, they've just knocked it forwards and unfortunately the referee blows up days, for a free kick like that against Sanchez, I think that was. Lee, action. who went down he there. Done a bit more damage to his opponent mm -hmm. than it seems to have been the case. No, it wasn't Sanchez. I didn't see who it was. Who that was. Anyway, we're going to make a substitution. We're bringing on Stephen Ross and Connor Smith, taking off Lee and Walker, both Lee and Walker. 
having an absolute brilliant game so far today and uh, they're just going off because they're a little bit tired a bit of squad rotation is needed every now and then and I think that is why they have been taken off today really need to uh, get a goal though if we can with 60 minutes into this game Bates just goes and gets a ball for the free kick that was given to Hartlepool just before the substitutions Plays it long into the penalty area. Goal kick Unfortunately, here. no one is there to pick it up and it goes out for Mikel the goal Arteta. kick. It was Arteta, yeah. sorry, who was the player who made the career. foul in the you first place. He knows when it's right, he might be feeling his body. But, you know, you need to think long and hard in, before making such a, a big decision. OK, so a goal kick to Arsenal. And Jack Wiltshire has come on and Terrell has gone off for the Arsenal. Ball played long up to the Arsenal player possession in the middle, in the loses area. possession though to Hartlepool. They're trying to get it back off him, unable to do so. And now Arsenal are on the attack. Referee waves play on to the player who's gone down. Emmau picks up the ball though, knocks it forward to Ross. Ross plays it out wide to Emmau. Emmau now going for a run down that wing, gets slide-in tackled and goes down. Referee blows up We've for a, a free kick, as you can see there, Lee the sitting on the per, uh, on the subs bench. Still no news well. about yeah. his transfer yeah. request. As I say, yeah. when I know still. more about that, I will let down. you know. And what a beautiful ball by Smith, and Smith's gone through and scored! What a goal by Connor Smith! The substitute has come on, taken it past the Arsenal players and smashed it into the net. What an absolute beauty of a goal that was. Takes it in, left foot, boom, in you go, Sunshine. And Hartlepool are in the lead against Arsenal at home. Who would have thought that would be happening, considering especially that Arsenal are up towards the top of this league. Will we be able to now keep hold of this 1-0 victory that we could be having? Or will we be able to add to this scoreline? 68 minutes played, Connor Smith scores, Hartlepool 1, Arsenal 0. My voice is just completely going at the moment. Arsenal kick off again with the ball. Now they're trying to come back from this deficit and see if they can score a goal. Arsenal, in my opinion, have played absolutely brilliantly today. They just haven't been able to put the ball in the net. They've had several chances at goal. None of them, though, on target, unfortunately, for them. Now the ball played long into the penalty area. This is where it starts becoming a bit of a danger and a beautiful overhead kick there. Just a little bit high, though, by Ramsey. And it goes goes high and wide over the top Arsene Wenger not happy sitting on the bench looking glaring at the Arsenal players hoping that something will happen in this next few minutes so that they can get back into this game we're going to make a substitution Emmel coming off Jonathan Franks coming on for this second half let's see if he can make a difference today anyway Barber with the goal, with the ball takes the goal kick kicks it long up the field. They must have been given offside then for that. It wasn't a goal kick. It must have been an offside decision. I thought it was a goal kick. Never mind. No, Alessandra has the ball, plays it forwards towards Ross. Ross tries to cut inside two of the players. He's got several players around him. He needs some help, and Alessandra makes a run forwards. As you can see, Wayne Rooney has scored against West Brom there and equalised against West Brom. The people who we are playing next is West Bromwich Albion. So let's hope that Manchester United either draw or get a win against them so that they will go into the game against us with a little and bit of lost morale. As you can see, replaced. Arsene Wenger up off his bench now, really panicking about the way that this game is going. He doesn't want to be shown up as a loss against Hartlepool. And we've, he's bought on Chambers for Belliken. I think that's how you say it. I'm not too certain. Anyway, Alessandra has the ball on the edge of the Arsenal penalty area. He cuts it side oh he's taken one too many touches he goes round him though oh what a goal oh, we thought he'd taken one too many touches he certainly finished it perfectly though there the ball bounced up took a, a lucky bobble against the keeper bounced up just in front of him he turns and smashes it home towards goal no goalkeeper there 
the Arsenal player on the line and able to block the ball from going in. And it's Hartley Pool 2, Arsenal 0. And surely that has got to be the end of this game. That has got to have won it for Hartley Pool. That's Alessandra's third goal this season. And what an important goal it is. Let's hope that the teams above us have lost their games so that we can climb up this league a little bit higher. What an absolute beauty of a goal and what a score to score line to beat Arsenal by. I really did think that we were going to get slaughtered by Arsenal and as I said earlier, Arsenal have been the better attacking team to be honest with you. That's a crossover and the referee has given it as offside. That was so unfortunately mistimed the run. Once more, two Arsenal players there near enough going offside. Luckily for Hartley Paul, it's a goal kick. We've got to hang on for another five minutes plus stoppage time. Will we be able to do so? This will be such an important victory for Hartley Paul if we get the win. We will have got 10 points then within our last four games. What a way of uh, going up the table that is. We had two wins, a draw and now another win, hopefully as long as they don't score two goals in the last two minutes. I can't see it happening. Ross has the ball on the edge of the area. Can he get a shot off? He does and he just goes wide. Searching for that third goal, unfortunately for him didn't manage to go in you can see the Hartlepool fans in the stands they're absolutely loving it they know what that means to this team they have played so well over the last several seasons and to come straight up to the premiership like they have and be able to beat the big boys like Arsenal and uh who else was it who they beat and like Villa like Villa have been in the, the premiership for a hell of a long time you know to beat teams like that when they've come up from the second division is absolutely amazing and there it is the final whistle goes Michael Woods so happy Connor Smith the first goal scorer of the day he applauds the fans the fans all going crazy they know what a win this is against Arsenal now that should boost the morale for the next game against West Brom here's the highlights of the game my voice is nearly gone off we go with the highlights. Absolute beautiful game that was today to watch. One of the best games that I've seen Hartlepool play. One of the best games I've ever seen Arsenal play, if I'm honest with you. And they really did do well. They just didn't have the look in front of goal. They didn't have the chances that Hartlepool had. When Hartlepool got a chance today, they took it and they made sure that they capitalised on it. There you can see Giroud's header going wide from the crossover that was there. And then there was that dodgy tackle by Arteta, which took out Nerny. And then the ball goes down for Connor Smith. He steps That's over gone. one player, left foot, smashes it straight past the keeper. And what an absolute beautiful goal that was. And Connor Smith takes it into the lead. And here's the next goal by That's Lewis goal. Alessandra. What a beautiful goal that was. The goalkeeper can't be really at fault for that. It took an unlucky bobble just in front of him. And then this right at the end. A shot by uh, Ross right at the very end. Goes fizzing past the post and unable to score. It finished here. Hartley pulled two. Arsenal nil. And what a win that was. Enmal scores a 6.8. Connor Smith gets man of the match the with an Premier 8. League. And Absolutely here's the scores one. from around the Sunderland grounds. Two. Read them out, big man. One. Swansea City, 1. Hartlepool United, 2. Arsenal, 0. Hull City, 2. Liverpool, 0. Manchester City, 4. Cardiff City, 1. Manchester United, 1. West Bromwich Albion, 2. A win by West Newcastle Brom United, there against one. Manchester United Rangers, will mean that they one. will have a morale Wright boost City, going two. into their next game against two. us when we visit Tottenham the Hawthorns next time. Palace, 1. Norwich West City United, pick
picking up their first yeah, points one. of this season with so a 2-2 draw against the Southampton. They're the still table, bottom of the league. Chelsea, Chelsea stay at the top. Manchester points. United, Spurs and Arsenal all changing around Manchester there in the top three behind points. Chelsea. Uh, Hartlepool now jumped up to seventh place. Played 11, won five, drawn two, lost four, goals 10, goals against nine. Goal difference of plus one. We're finally in the plus goals. Anyway, we're on 17 points. Another win could take us up into fifth. I hope that you will join us in the next game against West Brom away. Thank you very much for watching this game. I hope you've enjoyed it. And until the next one, take care and bye for now. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Everton with five points. Third bottom, Crystal Palace with eight points. Fourth bottom, Queen's Park Rangers with 10 points. Fifth bottom, Swansea City with 11 points. Anyway, a big thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video of FIFA 15. Leave a like if you can and comment if you want to. And please click the big subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. Add me on all the social media sites. The links are in the descriptions. As is the information if you ever want to play a game with me. Also, come and join in the fun at the live streams that I do. Links are on the screen right now. Anyway, I hope to see you all in the next video. Once again, thanks for watching. And until then, bye for now.